Cheers. So sad. Carrying whiskeys and tequilas and jams, just the perfect little place to put that. I just janked together a bunch of these leftover plywood, homemade surfboard, longboard, fin cover. Oh. Oh. Cheers. What up, guys? It's Jay from Studio Steep. All the best tea and drinks from around the world. Today, I'm going to show you guys the Ronda the Honda Hotel, show you the ins and outs of this camping car setup. This platform right here is modular and it has taken me on so many different camping trips. Um, I want to tell you guys about how I built it, how much it cost, and I also want to set it up for a two night camping and surfing trip. Moving right into it, this is a 2015 Honda CRV. It's a classic normal SUV. If you have anything close to it, you're gonna have no problem being able to build out a camper van. Building this platform, it cost me less than a hundred dollars. And everything from start to finish took about two days, which is pretty quick. You can do it in a weekend. So right now I have it as a sleeping or, you know, camping setup. I will break it down into more of a city setup so that I can use the back seats. In the city, it also acts as a very nice way to hide any precious belongings or any valuables underneath in this compartment right here. Really incredible. One of the reasons why I haven't taken this platform out. Cool. Well, that's enough sitting and talking. Let's actually get up and check out the interior of this car and how it works. Okay, so here you can see the inside of the camper car setup. I've got this half inch plywood platform covered in carpet and you can see that it's split into two almost equal size. This farther platform comes off and just slides right on top of this trunk platform. Coming around to the side underneath this front platform. There is storage, so I usually throw some shoes in. Uh, you can also see th these are the supports and underneath I have a carpet to protect the seat. But I have to just take out these bolts, take out these platforms and slide this right onto the trunk platform. Right on top of the back trunk. Get the shit out of the way. Woo, it could use a vacuum, huh? Nice and clean. Flip that over. And there you have it. So again, looking from the back, all your valuables right here when you're out and about, but we're going camping. So let's make it back into camper mode. And just like that, it's ready to camp. Let's put all the shit inside. Ooh, it is hot today. Perfect day for cold brew. Since this platform is not padded beyond just a tiny bit of carpeting, I throw on some extra padding so I can get a really nice night's sleep whenever I'm camping. So let's put that in there. Yeah, yeah. Gotta have pillows. Of course, I put one pillow on top of the center console of the car. And then I put another pillow for extra padding right here. My head goes in the middle. Boom, just like that with the drug rug and a few mattress pads and pillows. This place is actually really comfortable to sleep in. Let's get in and let me show you. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 I can't get up. Oh, it's really spacious. Feels great on the mattress, the double mattress. Can open the moonroof and look up at the sky while I go to sleep. Let's put all the other shit in here. Usually only need one duffel and I set it right here. On the right trunk side, I have a little storage corner. Number one, I use it to store my surfboard fin. This homemade longboard fin cover, nice good fins. 8 inch fin, beautifully crafted. I can use this space right here to store water. Usually it also serves as my bar. Carrying whiskeys and tequilas and gin. That's one nook. The other 
nook, some sunscreen, key lock box, gotta have one of these. It also has the same type of area to put some goodies right here. Underneath the trunk platform, I have a bunch of storage area to put any valuables, camera gear, first aid supplies, uh, emergency rations, food and water. Even with all that, I still have plenty of extra room in here, as well as this is where I keep all my food stuff. Here I usually have hot pot and noodles when I go out, pocket rocket stove setup. I can have this pulled out as well as the kitchen drawer pulled out. Boom, boom, boom. I've got the setup dialed. It's something that works really well for me. So we've got the storage, storage, kitchen, emergency rations, all the bed stuff is ready to go. Let's put in the biggest items, surfboards and surf gear. All the surfing stuff can either also go underneath, you just squish it under, or, you know, if I'm lazy, I'll just put it right here for the time being. Boom. If I have a cooler for the trip, I'll just leave it right here. When it comes to camping out of your car, one of the biggest constraints is storage for big items like surfboards, right? This is how I set it up in my rig. I have these two cheap tie down straps. I'll link it in the video description. What I do is I just web it through the handlebars on the roof and that acts as a nice platform to rest your surfboard on. You want to tie it down so there is enough tension um, across all four lines that it will support your surfboard. Finishing touch, of course, the board. So check that out, fits perfectly. I can get in the car without bumping my head on the surfboard, which is really nice. And there you have it. Kind of looks like a surf shop in here, huh? I do have to shout out Christian Schaefer, who's a fabulous YouTuber and nature photographer. She lives full time out of her van and has the best advice for van life, along with incredibly well made video. And she's super funny too. I've learned a lot from her videos. Big fan, go check her out. Whew. That's it for today's reel. For Studio Steep, you know the easiest way and free way to support the channel is to like, leave a comment, tell me what your setup is if you have one. Also, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot of fun trips coming up this summertime. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.